Hey guys, what's up? So today we've got a school bus sales brochure review. Um, as you can see here, it is a Thomas Bill Buses sales brochure. And if you can tell by the logo, it's definitely an older sales brochure. So this sales brochure is from 1973. So the front and back cover of this sales brochure is pretty interesting. You can see it's all yellow, uh, and you can see rivets. Uh, so it's basically the side of a bus, and at the top of the sales brochure, it says all school buses look alike. They're not. Um, and then on the back cover, it's a continuation of the front. And down at the bottom, it's got the Thomas Built Buses logo and the address and uh, all that kind of stuff for the plants. Um, and then we've got uh, just a little disclaimer there saying that Thomas can change anything in this sales brochure that they want and that they have the right to discontinue products and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this uh, sales brochure. Um, some of the photos inside of this are actually the same as the photos that are inside of, um, I think it was the 71. I, I did a sales brochure review some time ago, I think it was sometime last year, um, of a Thomas Built Buses sales brochure, and this has some of the photos that that actually had in it. But it's still a sales brochure that's new to my collection, so I figured I would go ahead and review it for you guys. Uh, so with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so on the inside cover, you can see at the top there it says safety and value come first. So over here on this page, we've got just a little bit of a timeline of different products Thomas uh, built. You've got what looks to be an early form of a bus. Uh, it's got uh, 1916 there. And then uh, 1924, you've got a trolley. And then 1929, another uh, larger trolley. And then uh, 19. 35 you've got one of those um, city buses that looks to be connected to a power line and then 1937 it looks like you got some school buses sitting there uh, so over here on the next page we've got a uh, beautiful uh, lodestar with a fiberglass hood and a Thomas body um, I've seen this picture before uh, but I think this is the first sales brochure that I have that has it in it I could be wrong on that but I I'm pretty sure that the other ones did not have this photo. Uh, so that's just what the normal conventional would have looked like in the 70s. Um, you got that little window in the back, which was pretty common for a majority of the manufacturers at this time. I know Bluebird did it, uh, Wayne did it, uh, obviously Thomas did it because we're looking right at it. Um, I'm pretty sure Ward also did it on their earlier buses, they had that small window. Personally, I don't really care for those little windows um, on the older buses I don't think it looks as bad, but like that kind of thing on a new C2 or any C2 for that matter Not the biggest fan uh, at least on the C2 body. It just to me. It doesn't look right back there um, But yeah, that's my little tangent about small windows in the back So we'll go ahead and move on to the next page. So this says in floor structure um and it's talking about the actual structure of the bus. You can see a uh, floor laid out there and, and different features. You got the uh, mounting brackets, um, zinc coated steel, which is showing you the actual body or the underside of the body rather. Floor bumper, which is uh, right there. Um, mounting pads. And then uh, floor crossings and then let's see driver compartment floor um, so you can see that right there uh, so that's just showing you the different uh, parts of the actual uh, floor structure um, and I think this is pretty similar to the previous sales brochure I reviewed um, in front structure so we've got the front of the actual body uh, in different parts of it and different features. I think this photo here was actually in one of the previous sales brochures where it shows you the actual body structure. And that's a pretty cool angle, the way it's looking up into the body and you can see how the bus is actually uh, built. And then you got two other pictures there of uh, body structure pieces. The next page, it says in rear structure. So this is just basically showing you the rear cab um, structure. And then right there you can see a picture of uh, corner anchor points. And there's the bumper, and down below it says uh, wraparound bumper. Uh, over here, in bow frame structure, so this is showing you the actual uh, structure of the bus with the uh, roof bows. 
and there's an actual picture of a bow right there and this is showing you other types of bow frame structures so that's a one piece three piece four piece and that's showing you uh, in what pieces they're uh, broken up into. So that's just a little section on the actual bow structure, which the roof bows are, you know, the skeleton of the bus. Without the roof bows, it's not anything. And, you know, you do want strength in your roof bows because if the bus rolls over, it needs to support itself. So that way it just doesn't, you know, flatten itself. Internal longitudinal reinforcements. So right here we've got the uh, actual body structures. Uh, going down the side of the body you can see a rub rail right there for perspective so this would be the side panel of the bus um, and then there's an actual rub rail right there and it says uh, in external longitudinal reinforcements and then there's the outside of the bus uh, with the rub rails and all of the uh, side sheet and you've got the little um, grooves here and then the bottom two rub rails. You'll notice the top rub rail here is much larger than the bottom two rub rails. And then right here it's uh, showing you the different points in the picture. So the guardrail at seat level, guardrail at floor level. So rub rails actually do show you something on the bus. So this shows you the... So the middle one shows you the seat level, the bottom one shows you the floor, and the top one shows you uh, right about where the window would be. So if you look, like I know this is not a Thomas, but if you look here on 45, you can see where on the inside paneling it lines up with the rub rail. So that way you can actually see uh, where the rub rails meet. So on the next page it says uh, in roof structure. So right here we've got a roof structure of a Thomas. And it's pointing out different features. You've got the, uh, got the front contour. And then roof panels roof crash rods. See, I will say the one thing here that they did that was actually a really good idea was these rub rail like features on the roof of the bus, which I'm not saying they completely prevented something from going inside of the bus because if you have a strong enough force, it'll break through those. But it did help if the bus was in a rollover, it did help to strengthen the roof. Um, and I'm pretty sure they're the only ones that did that. Uh, Wayne's, the way they were built, they had a line of rivets that were going down, kind of like those rub, those roof rails are, but it wasn't an actual roof rail, it was just rivets, so it's not like those would really have done anything in an accident, but I will give that to Thomas, that is one feature that they put on their older buses that was actually, um, a pretty good idea. And then over here you've got the, uh, center sheets and there's a picture i know that was in the previous sales brochure i reviewed and then you'll see what does that say uh roof crash rails and that's just showing you the actual uh roof crash rails being put on i think yeah um and then it talks a little bit about the actual uh roof crash rails the next page in overall structural integrity so we've got a, a cutaway type picture of a lodestar so this was definitely in the older sales brochure that i reviewed it's pretty interesting to get a look at a thomas that's cut away like this um to show you all of the actual features of the bus and from this picture it would appear that they legitimately built this bus like that so that you could see it for the sales brochure uh, i would be interested to know what actually happened to this bus um probably got scrapped i doubt that they took that body well i mean i guess they could have taken that body off and put another body on it but um it's too bad that something like that wasn't kept around you know for historical purposes but they probably were not thinking about that at the time um so yeah that's pretty cool and you can see all the different points being pointed to on the actual bus um because again it, it gives you a good look of what the body actually looks like without all of the metal on it uh, and that's, you know, what the skeleton of a school bus looks like. Um, you know, the bodies might be different, you know, Thomas, Bluebird, um, Icy, whatever. But the overall structure and the roof bows are pretty much all the same, uh, even if the shape itself is a little different. Next page says indoors. So this is obviously about uh, doors. You've got the manual door handle right there. And then the... Uh, little piece right there for the uh, locking mechanism and then there's the uh, rear door latch and the switch for the emergency buzzer here's the picture of an entrance door you can see a uh, student getting off over here it says in finishes 
So both of these pictures had been in a previous sales brochure I reviewed. Uh, but right there it says zinc coated steels. And then right there it says inner fard baking. Uh, and you can see the bus after it had been painted in the uh, oven being uh, baked so that the paint, you know, dries and stuff. Um, next page says in seating. So right here you just have some different seating options. There's the back of the seat. Uh, and then with most sales brochures, it has a little diagram that shows you what the actual seat looks like. So you've got your fabric, your cushion, the metal frame, and then the, the wood backing um, on the back and the bottom. And then over here you just have more pictures of different seating options you could have gotten. Uh, fully padded seat, uh, fiberglass seat, probably for like a, a city bus or um, maybe a prison bus or something like that. Right there you got a picture of luggage racks as an option. And then you got one of these very safe uh, padded bars since it wasn't a real big practice to put a uh, seat back in front of the first seat. They just put those metal bars with a little bit of padding and we're like, yep, you're good. If, if an accident happens, this is going to keep you so safe. Um, but they soon learned their lesson because that has not been in a school bus uh, of any kind since... I think the early 80s was the last time something like that was used in a in, in bus construction um, but yeah next page in heating so this is all the heaters and stuff you can see the uh, heating console there that would go next to the driver uh, on the different vents um, on the different parts of the bus you can see a fire extinguisher right there so it's next to the entrance door uh, and then here's continuation of the heating system so that's an under seat heater uh, and then there's a, a view of kind of like behind the driver fan you can see it right there because there's the cow there's another bus right there uh, so that's just showing you the uh, windshield defroster and then down here you can see where they've got uh, insulation in the body to help keep uh, heat and stuff like that inside the bus uh, when it's cold and then you've got uh, a tighter door seal so there's the actual door seals on the door to help keep in you know the um, air and stuff like that and to keep out uh, the outside air like if it's cold outside or something like that and driver comfort and visibility so right here here's a nice picture of a driver's area of a Thomas I'm not sure I'm going off the fact that that gauge cluster looks to be a Ford um, well, and I'm pretty sure that is a Ford steering wheel right there. You can probably see the Ford logo on there. Uh, I do think this was in the previous sales brochure I reviewed because it looks familiar to me. Right here, you got a close-up picture of the windshield and then your different uh, driver's seat options and then uh, emergency equipment storage, which would go above the uh, driver's area. In coaches. So down below that, we got a picture of their transit at the time. I think that's a front engine based on the grill, but it also kind of looks like a rear engine to me with the amount of uh, rear end that's hanging off here, um, but I could be wrong on that. Uh, in special purpose buses, so, so right there you've got the Mighty Might, which was basically a regular bus, but in a small version uh, for you know special needs or um, whatever the school district might need it for. Uh, right there you've got a wheelchair bus, that picture was for sure in the last sales brochure I reviewed. Uh, and then here we've got in service. And I know this was in the last sales brochure because I remember it. So on the side of that van, you can see where it says Thomas Authorized Sales and Service. And then there's the uh, service guy or salesman, whatever you want to call him, with his toolbox. And a little Ford van behind him. And then over here is where they would put uh, more information on the, say, a dealer sales sheet or something like that. So, um, yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you think. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.